All right, I'm back again with uh, another video for uh, the Predator 3500 or boondocking. Or it could be RV power or even portable generators. So one uh, nice thing to be able to do is to take your RV someplace uh, where there may not be hookups, uh, power that is, and be able to run a generator or generators uh, to uh, run the things that you have in your RV. I have a... Uh, 39 and a half, 40 foot Montana 3750 FL has a couple of air conditioners and TVs and a microwave. And you know, we have an air fryer in there and a Keurig and all this stuff. It uses a bunch of power. So, in order to uh, not tax uh, the one generator, uh, I have two Predators and I ended up paralleling them. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, they, there's kits online that um, you can buy, and there's paralleling ports that are supplied on the generator that allow you to plug into both generators. It goes to a central box, kind of ties the, the lines together. And um, instead of having um, one generator capable of 25 amps, now you have two generators that are capable of producing about 50 amps. So the problem, though, with this, and I had to make uh, an adapter, and that's what you see uh, here, or two adapters, is that the paralleling cable here, the ends, the, the 30 amp uh, ends are too close together. I can't get the generators uh, close enough together to take the stress off the plug. And it's not so much of a concern here. This is a twist lock. So it goes into the generator and locks in, into place. And it won't go anywhere unless you back it off and you have to pull it out. But the 30 amp doesn't work that way. It just simply inserts into the back of this and there's no locking feature. There's no means to, to keep it in there. So if you accidentally kick the cable or it gets bumped, it could pull that out. Um, and that's really not a good thing. So uh, I did a you know quick kind of fix. Uh, there, there are other ways I'm sure you can do it. Um, but simply... Uh, I got the connectors I needed, uh, two female uh, twist lock 30 amp uh, connectors and two uh, male 30 amp uh, twist lock connectors. And then uh, 18, well there's 18 24 inches of 10-3 um, which is uh, 10 AWG uh, wire and three conductor. So there's a white a black and a green in here. And if you do not mess with electricity, if you're not familiar with doing that sort of thing, uh, there are plenty of videos online for, for doing this sort of thing. But um, I always will check these at the end. You do not, you want to ensure that if this receptacle right here has the black wire on it, the matching pin on that side has the black wire too and the white wire matches and the green wire matches so on the inside of these connectors they are color coded uh, you'll have a green stab in there um, and you this that's easy to go ahead and um, put the green wire to that um, then you have an x and a y uh, now you could put the black on the x or the black on the y if, uh, if you wanted to, um, after it's put together, nobody's going to see it, but the same wire has to land. If you put the black on the X terminal here, it's got to be on the X terminal in that as well. You do not want to cross the neutral and the power on that. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, so everything is built exactly the same. All these, the, this, uh, this other adapter also it's all wired exactly the same. Uh, X, X to X, Y to Y, and ground to ground on each one of these. So after that was done, uh, then the adapter, which I don't have it quite seated. You can see a little bit of the, uh, the plug right there. Well, one of the stabs here for the 30 amp. That goes into the adapter here. And then this twist lock locks onto this portion here. And then this end of the cable... Uh, plugs into the generator. So now I have this extra cord and that takes the strain off of specifically this connection. 
And as added in insurance, what I did was I took some uh, fairly thick RTV, RTV, <laughs> fairly thick Velcro, and I ended up making a bridle for it. So this wraps around this portion of the connector, and it actually sits on the front part of that adapter. And this red piece of Velcro kind of pulls on this just to keep it snug. So, I mean, if you kick this thing or you bump it, it should be fine. It's not going to bump it out of there. If somebody really tugs on it, it's Velcro. It's, it's not going to, uh, it's, it's probably going to come out of there. But, you know, hopefully you never run into something where somebody's grabbing the power cord and trying to pull it out of there. That's, I don't, I think the circumstances of that happening would be pretty rare. But anyway, um, what that does, that gives the length, takes the stress off. Uh, the second one would go on this end. And again, this is, um, as you can see, I have um, a shorter piece that just wraps around the plug. I got two long pieces that, uh, you know, run down the handle here, keep everything uh, all together. And that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, this cable uh, right here, this adapter cable, is uh, available on uh, Amazon. Uh, there are other paralleling kits, too, that you can get that are right around the same cost. Uh, so your choice, whether you do this, this sort of thing or you get the paralleling kit. If you don't want to mess with you know, these extensions or having to, to, to build that, then go with the paralleling kits that have the cables that come with them you're not going to run into that, that problem. I had um, these connectors uh, already. That was from another project um, that I didn't use them for. And I have also another large generator for the house, the 12.5K um, Generac. So I have cables that I had built up for that as well. So I had parts that were around. I had cable that was around that I could use. These suckers right here, 25, 30 bucks each. So it's not cheap to, to put that together. Keep that in mind. If you want to do this, great, but expect that you're going to end up in, in wire and connectors uh, for the, the two adapters here that we got. You're going to spend pretty close to 100 bucks for that. Um, for $70, $80, maybe a little less, you can buy a paralleling kit for, um, for this generator or a couple other different types of generators out there. Uh, so you don't have to pay that extra, that extra cost. Uh, it just worked out better for me because I already had parts and pieces available. Um, and, uh, I kind of like the, this, uh, heavy duty type of, uh, cable anyway. Another, uh, uh, another feature of this is that, uh, with power available on this connector, you can see right here, there's a little port, uh, that's an LED. So when power is there, that lights up blue. So that's one half of this. And then the other half being on this side, that feeds back to this plug. And then if you look in the top right here, there are two more LEDs right there. So that's telling me, that tells me just by looking at that plug that I have power to um, the left and the right. You have your ground and two powers and a neutral. So that tells me that I've got power to my you know, to the both receptacles or one that would uh, indicate I, if I'm missing an LED there that I've got a, a connection issue or the generator has failed or whatever. So I kind of like that feature as well. So there you are. Um, it's a, it's a little busy, but it, uh, it works well. And if you have any questions about it, please feel free to, um, ask in the, the comments. Um, I intend on putting a link up for this cable uh, here. Um, again, that came off of uh, Amazon. The rest of this uh, you can get from a uh, hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, any one of those sort of places you'll be able to pick them up. But just re remember, um, they're not cheap. All right. Have a good one.